Hi, I'm Mariella Frostrup and I'm here at Amnesty International UK to interview the actor and director Gael Garcia Bernal, the star of films like Babel, Bad Education and The Motorcycle Diaries and now the Oscar nominated No. <laughs> Welcome, Gael. Thanks for joining us today. Um, Thank you. The film, No, in a way, the campaign that it documents brings in both the elements of sort of entertainment and of campaigning and tries to marry them in one film. And I wondered as an actor how you make a choice with parts like that, whether it's the issue that, that first interests you or the story. Mm, I, I think it's a, it's a mix of both but it is a consequence of all the other films as well because there's all of them have had this kind of political complexity to them and uh, i always kind of defend uh, the fact that uh, that it is not really a checklist that i do to to see to whether or not to participate in a movie uh, especially concerning the issues it talks about después de todo hoy chile piensa en su futuro I like films that kind of deconstruct the narrative or that maybe take another look, another angle to, to the pre-existing narrative. And, uh, and Noise is a film that actually, I think, does this, does this because it's, it not only revives something that happened in 1988 with a referendum, but it also gives it another angle. So it el eliminates the single discourse. I mean, and, and seen through the, through the eyes of the publicist, of the publicity campaign, uh, you can get a, more distance and, and see it in an, uh, another color. <laughs> Pablo, the director, he always talks about this kind of almost Greek tragedy aspect to Pinochet. The system that he was um, imposing, the economic system, which is uh, capitalist and therefore it leads to offer and demand and publicity and, you know, uh, at the end of the day, those tools that he implemented, uh, it was exactly his venom. It was that way that they, that they, um, that they took, took him out. The No campaign was a success in terms of the opposition parties and, and, and the sort of will of the people, but it was also a, a, a sort of marker of success for international bodies like Amnesty, who campaigned so vociferously against uh, Pinochet in that period, and whose presence in terms of you know, keeping an eye on the election gave people the confidence to actually stand up against this brutal regime. Yeah, yeah, no, they, they were, they tried to, um, at the end of the campaign, actually on the last days of the, of the, uh, of the TV program that they did, uh, they had 15 minutes every day. They included a lot of people from all over the world speaking and supporting um, uh, the, the No campaign. Uh, Jane Fonda, <laughs> Richard Dreyfuss. Yeah, and, and, uh, and Superman, which is incredible. They, they put, yeah, they put him there and, and, and they put in, 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 um, in how do you say, in um, quotation marks, uh, Superman. Superman is telling them to get rid of Pinochet. Come on, that's incredible. Remember that the ballot is secret and the future of your country is in your hands. The pain of Chile over these long years has been the pain of all of us. Nuestros mejores deseos están con ustedes en el 5 de octubre. When you see a, a sort of famous Hollywood actor uh, stand up and make a speech against a war, as you did with the Iraq War in, in 2003, there is a degree of cynicism about the sort of marriage of celebrity and, and politics. But where you come from in Latin America, I think politics is life, isn't it? Exactly. I, I think that is. You put it quite well. I mean, it is. It's that uh, in Latin America, 
uh, politics is very much in the in the surface of everyday life. Uh, it is not surprising that someone has a microphone and says something.